Let us see our next interesting example. The angle of elevation of the sun. When the length of the shadow of the tree is equal to the height of the tree will be how much? So we have to find the angle of elevation of the sun over here. Our options are over here. How to solve this? Let us see. We have to consider QR as the tree and PQ to be its shadow. We have to find the angle of elevation of the sun that is the theta over here. And it is given that the height of the tree and the length of the shadow is equal. So that makes QR equal to PQ. And our angle is theta that is QPR is theta. We know that by trigonometrical formulas tan theta is nothing but perpendicular by base. A perpendicular is QR by base is QP. And it is equal to 1 because QR is equal to QP. Hence, QR by QP will be equal to 1. We know that tan 45, that is when your theta is equal to 45, your time tan has the value as 1. Hence, theta is equal to 45 degree. So, our required angle of elevation is nothing but 45 degree. So, our answer is option C. These pattern of questions appear in LNT and CTS exams. Let us see our next interesting example. We have a tower which is 80 meters high and the angle of depression of a bus is given to be 30 degree. How far will be the bus from the tower? That is you have to find the distance B, C. Our options are over here. Let us see how to solve this. We have the height of the tower that is AC is equal to 80 meter. And the angle of depression that is from the tower, we are looking at the bus. So the angle of depression is 30 degrees. We know that vertically opposite angles are equal. So this angle is 30. Hence this angle will be equal to 30. Because DA is parallel to BC. Tan 30 is the trigonometric relation that connects your perpendicular with the base. Because we need to find BC. Hence tan 30 is equal to AC by BC. We know that tan theta has the value as 1 by root 3. To find BC by cross multiplying we have 80 by tan 30. Substituting tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3 and taking root 3 to the numerator we have 80 multiplied by root 3. The value of root 3 is given over here in the question itself. So substitute it. Multiplying it by 80, you get your answer to be 138.4 meter. The distance of the bus from the foot of the tower is given to be 138.4 meter.
which is option B.